Hello my dear students. Welcome back to your video lesson. I am Shweta Gupta, your math teacher. And today I am going to teach you exercise 14b of lesson 14. The topic of the lesson is time. So let's get started. In this exercise, we will learn about adding and subtracting time. So, first of all, you know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? And what is, the, what is their short forms? Well, H is the short form of R, M I N is the short form of minute and s is the short form of second our minutes and seconds are added or subtracted separately while doing the addition and subtraction of time why adding if the sum has 60 seconds or more or 60 minutes or more we regroup as shown below in the next slide. Let us understand how we do the regrouping with the help of one example. Add 3 hours 42 minutes 50 seconds and 2 hours 21 minutes 25 seconds. So let us see how we are going to add this. First of all, we will write, we will make three columns, one for hour, other second for minute and third for second. And since we know that hour is the biggest unit, so we are keeping hour the biggest unit at the extreme left hand side okay and second is the smallest unit which is kept on the extreme right hand side okay now in the second column we have written 50 seconds and 25 seconds right because we have to add two things first is 3 hours 42 minutes 50 seconds this we will write in the top column and 2 hour 21 minutes 25 seconds we will write in the bottom right and you know that 50 seconds and 25 seconds will be written in the second column 42 minutes 21 minutes are written in the minute column and 3 hour and 2 hours are written in the hour column now let us see how we will add by doing the regrouping First of all, we will start from the extreme right hand side, that is from the smallest unit. We will start the addition of the smallest unit, which is second. So, 50 seconds plus 25 seconds is equal to 75 seconds. But, 75 seconds is equal to 60 seconds plus 15 seconds. Okay, means when we will divide 75 by 60, what do we get? We get... 1 minute 15 seconds right so in this way we have done the regrouping means we have regrouped 75 seconds to 60 seconds plus 15 seconds which is equal to and we know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute so we have written 1 minute plus 15 seconds so now what we will do well we will write 15 seconds under the second column and we will carry 1 minute to the minute column so, the answer in the second column will be 15. Now, in the minute column, what we will do? We will add 1 minute which is being carried from the second column, 42 minutes and 21 minutes, which is equal to 64 minutes, right? But children, again we will do the regrouping of 64 minutes. We can write 64 minutes as 60 minutes plus 4 minutes. And 60 minutes we know is equal to 1 hour, right? So, instead of 60 minutes, we will write 
वन आवर प्लस फोर मिनट्स नाउ वॉट वी आर सपोज टू डू वी विल राइट फोर मिनट्स अंडर द मिनट कॉलम एंड वी विल कैरी वन आवर टू दी आवर कॉलम राइट सो नाउ इन दी आवर कॉलम वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी विल एड वन आवर विच इज बींग कैरिड फ्रॉम द मिनट कॉलम थ्री आवर प्लस टू आवर सो वन प्लस थ्री प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स आवर्स राइट विच वी आर गोइंग टू राइट अंडर द आवर कॉलम सो आवर आंसर इज सिक्स आवर फोर मिनट्स फिफ्टीन सेकेंड सो चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू डू द एडिशन ऑफ टाइम बाय रीग्रुपिंग मिनट्स एंड सेकेंड्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल Now let's take another example to understand the regrouping more clearly. So, in this example, we have to subtract two hour thirty six minutes forty nine seconds from four hour twenty eight minutes thirty seconds. So, first of all, we will make three columns of hour, minutes, and seconds, and then we will put four hours twenty eight minutes thirty seconds. at the top and 2 hour 36 minutes 49 seconds at the bottom right now what we are going to do we first of all we will start the subtraction from the second column okay so now we have to subtract 49 seconds from 30 seconds but it is not possible because 30 seconds is less than 49 seconds so what we are supposed to do we will borrow One minute from the minute column, and we have to change this one minute to seconds. So we know that one minute is equal to sixty seconds. So now it will be one minute is equal to sixty seconds. And children, when we will borrow one minute from the minute column, how many minutes will be left at the minute column? Well, twenty-seven minutes will be left in the minute column. And now what we are going to do? We will sub. First of all, we will add this sixty minutes with thirty sixty seconds with thirty seconds, and which is equal to ninety seconds. And now we will subtract forty nine seconds from ninety seconds, and our answer will come as forty one seconds. Now let's move to the minute column. Now at the Minute column, it is twenty-seven minutes, and we have to subtract thirty-six minutes from twenty-seven minutes, which is not possible. So what we are supposed to do? We will borrow one hour from the hour column, and then we will change one hour to minutes. That is, one hour is equal to sixty minutes. And how many hour is left at the hour column? Well, three hours is left at the hour column. Now, in the minute column. We will add sixty minutes with twenty-seven minutes, which is equal to eighty-seven minutes. And now we will subtract thirty-six minutes from eighty-seven minutes, and our answer comes as fifty-one minutes. Now we will move to the hour column. So, in the hour column, what we have to do? We have to subtract two hour from three hour, and it will leave. One hour as the answer, right? So our final answer is one hour fifty one minutes forty one seconds. Now, children, let's solve some of the question from exercise fourteen B. First question is add. So in add. we will do the e part of question number 1 of exercise 14b it is 5 hour 54 minutes 30 seconds plus 2 hour 29 minutes 40 seconds so let us see how we are doing the addition we will make the three column of hour minute seconds and then we will add so and we will start the addition from the second column 
30 plus 40 second is equal to 70 seconds. And children, we can do the regrouping of 70 seconds. So, 70 seconds is equal to 1 minute 10 seconds. Means, we know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So, 70 seconds is equal to how many minutes and second? Well, you have to divide 70 seconds by 60 and you will get 1 minute 10 seconds. So, now what you are going to do? You will keep 10 seconds or you will write 10 seconds under the second column and you will carry 1 minute to the minute column. Now, in the minute column, how we are going to add? We will add 1 minute, 54 minute and 20, 29 minutes together which is equal to 84 minutes. Now, again children, you know that 60 minute is equal to 1 hour. So, 84 minute is equal to how many hour and minute? Divide 84 by 60 and we get 84 minute is equal to by regrouping it is 60 minutes plus 24 minutes. So, 84 minute is equal to 1 hour 24 minutes. Right. So, what we are going to do? We will write 24 minute under the minute, minute column and we will carry 1 hour to the hour column. So, now in the hour column, what are, what are we supposed to add? Well, we, have, we are supposed to add 1 hour, 5 hour plus 2 hour and it will be equal to 8 hour. So, our answer is 8 hour 24 minutes 10 seconds. So now let's move to the next question. Now children, let's move to the next question which is part F of question number 1 of exercise 14b. Here what we are going to add? We will add 6 hour 15 minutes 42 seconds and 1 hour 45 minutes 51 seconds. Again we will make the 3 column of hour minute seconds hour the largest unit at the extreme left and second the smallest unit at the extreme right and then we will write 6 hour 15 minutes 42 seconds at the top and 1 hour 45 minutes 51 seconds at the bottom now we will start the addition from the second column right so 42 seconds and 51 seconds is equal to 93 seconds and you know children 93 seconds is equal to 1 minute 33 seconds which will come when we will divide 93 seconds by 60 as we know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute right so now what we will do we will write 33 seconds under the second column and one carry 1 minute to the minute column now in the minute column what we are supposed to do we will add 15 minutes, 45 minutes and 1 minute which is equal to 61 minutes. Right? And 61 minute is equal to 1 hour, 1 minute. Right? When we will divide 61 unit minute by 60, we get 1 hour, 1 minute. So, now what we will do? We will write 1 minute under the minute column and we will carry 1 hour to the hour column. So in the hour column now we will add 1 hour, 6 hour plus 1 hour which is equal to 8 hour. So our final answer is 8 hour 1 minute 33 seconds. Now children, let's come to question number 2, part E. Here, you have to subtract 3 hours 35 minutes 30 seconds from 8 hours 26 minutes 29 seconds. So, first of all, we will make 3 columns of hour, minutes, seconds. And then we will write at the top, 8 hour 26 minutes 29 seconds which is larger and at the bottom we will write 3 hour 35 minutes 30 seconds 30 seconds we will write hours in under the hour column 
minutes under the minute column and seconds under the second column. Now we will start the subtraction from the second column. So first of all we have to subtract 30 seconds from 29 seconds. But it is not possible because 30 seconds is more than 29 seconds. So what we are supposed to do? We will borrow 1 minute from the minute seconds. And then what will be left in the minute column? Well, 25 minute will be left in the minute column when we will borrow 1 minute from the minute column. And 1 minute children you know is equal to 60 seconds. So now 60 seconds plus 29 seconds is equal to 89 seconds. Right? So we will subtract 30 seconds from 89 seconds and what do we get we get 59 seconds which we will write under the second column now let's move to the minute column here we have to subtract 35 minutes from 25 minutes which is not possible because 35 minute is more than 25 minutes so what we will do we will borrow one hour from the hour column and now children how many hours will be left when we will borrow one hour from the hour column, how many hours will be left at the hour column? 7 hours. And now, in the minute column, we will add, you know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, we will add 60 minutes and 25 minutes, which is equal to 85 minutes. Okay. So, at the top, we have written 85 minutes at the top of the minute column. Right. And now, we will subtract 35 minutes from 85 minutes which is coming as 50 minutes, right? So, we will write this 50 minutes under the minute column and then we will move towards the hour column. At the hour column, how many hours are left? 7 hours. And so, we are going to subtract 3 hours from, this, from 7 hours and what do we get? We get 4 hours. So, our final answer is 4 hours, 50 minutes, 59 seconds. So now let's move to the next question. Now children, let's do the F part of question number 2. Subtract 1 hour 15 minutes 42 seconds from 9 hour 1 minute 23 seconds. So let us see how we will do it. We will write 9 hours 1 minute 23 seconds at the top. And 1 hour 15 minutes 42 seconds at the bottom. Now we will start the subtraction from the second column. Right. So in the second column we have 23 seconds and 42 seconds. And we have to subtract 42 seconds from 23 seconds which is not possible. So what we are supposed to do? We will borrow 1 minute from the minute column. And you know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds means we have borrowed 60 seconds from the minute column. And now what we are going to do? We will see that at the minute column how many minutes are left. Earlier it was 1 minute and when we have borrowed 1 minute from the minute column. Now 0 minute is left at the minute column. Now let us see in the second column we will add 23 seconds and 60 seconds which is equal to 83 seconds. And now we will subtract 42 seconds from 83 seconds. And what answer do we get? We get 41 seconds. So we will write 41 seconds under the second column. Okay. And now we will move towards the minute six, minute column. And children, at the minute column, we cannot subtract 15 minutes from 0 minute. So what do we need? What do we need to do? We have to borrow... 1 hour from the hour column and as we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so now at the minute column we have 60 minutes right and what is left at the hour column well when we borrow 1 hour from the hour column so 9 hour instead of 9 hour 8 hour is left at the hour column and now we will subtract in the minute column we will subtract 15 minutes from 60 minutes, right? And what is left? Well, 
60 minus 15 minutes is equal to 45 minutes. So we will write 45 minutes under the minute column. And now let's move to the hour column. In the hour column, we have to subtract 1 hour from 8 hour, which is equal to 7 hour. So our final answer is 7 hour, 45 minutes, 41 seconds. So children, I hope you have understood how to do the subtract, subtraction as well as addition of time by regrouping. Okay. And now you are able to solve addition and subtraction of time on your own. So now let's come to the home assignment. Now children, this is your home assignment. There are two questions and each question carries four parts. And you are supposed to do your home assignment in your mass homework copy in a very neat and clean handwriting. Thank you my dear students for watching this video lesson till the end. I hope you have understood and you have learned very well how to do the subtraction and addition of time by regrouping and I hope you will complete all your home assignment. So children, keep watching, keep learning.